Welcome to episode 147 of Clarity Compressed. My name is Paul J. Daly. I will be your host. And today we're going to talk about the myth and the lies that you hear as it pertains to balance. We're making our way through the fog of life and clarity is understanding where we are on the map. You are here. <laughs> Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. Our lives are full of imbalance. Just chaos theory, outside sources, outside forces. We automatically gravitate toward imbalance. And that's because there are forces that are constantly, constantly working against the direction that we wish we could go. And this year, 2020, has been every norm in our life was disrupted. Um, norms in our lives were disrupted, whether that's work life. I mean, look, we're all working from home at several times throughout the year. Maybe you still are. We're all meeting on Zoom calls. Kids are at home doing school from home. Things have been canceled. Vacations, traditions have been canceled. In some places, Thanksgiving largely got canceled. In LA, they just announced that people can't walk outside. Like, I don't know what's going on here. They're just putting the George Orwell 1984 smack down on some states. I digress. There is this disruption that's happened in all of our lives. This pursuit of balance that we have in culture, this conversation of work-life balance, relationship balance, balance. It is completely and utterly disrupted. Now, it's easy to say that in 2020 and blame everything on COVID. Well, it's it's COVID. Well, I, I can't get together because COVID. The check is late because of COVID. Uh, the car is a flat because of COVID. I didn't get out of bed early today because of COVID. I forgot to take the trash out because of COVID, right? <laughs> we blame everything on COVID now. Right, let's be honest. You had balance issues far before COVID. And um, my wife and I were having a conversation uh, just last night about balance and, and finding balance in our relationship and life and all these things that are going on. And I got to say, I've been married for many years, many, almost two decades, and balance is still an elusive thing sometimes. And I think that the principle of finding balance and finding it and then, you know, getting enough weights on this side and enough weights on this side and then just letting them go, letting this magical teeter-totter just stay balanced right in the middle Oh, now we've arrived. And that's like a lie. The thought of work-life balance is like in thinking that you could just craft it the right way and then let it go. Like that's a lie. And the reason it's a lie is because there are constantly shifting and changing dynamics in our life that disrupt the balance. And so when you find yourself being out of balance, it's not an indicator that you don't care about balance. It's not an indicator that you haven't tried to achieve balance or that you're somehow inept at reaching that nirvana of balance. It's not an indicator of that. It's an indicator that things keep changing. So if things keep changing, then we need to keep changing and constantly assess the situation. If you've ever been on a boat or if you've ever driven a car, but it's a little bit more noticeable when you're driving a boat. When you're in a boat and if you keep the wheel straight and you just hold it straight and you push the throttle down and you can hold that wheel dead straight, right? Not going to turn it and you're, you're cruising along. Guess what? The boat's not going to go straight. It's not going to stay in a line. You have to adjust this way and then adjust this way and then maybe a little further this way and then maybe go back the other way. And it's this constant adjustment because you might be going straight and the hull is moving. But guess what? There are all these other forces pushing against the sides of the boat. There's wake from other boats. There's wind pushing the boat that you can't even see. And so if you were to think that you could just hold the wheel straight and be frustrated that the boat isn't going in a straight line, you've lost that balance, well, then you would be a fool. I want to bring that into the fact that if you think that just because you set something in line or you decided, hey, I'm going to wake up 15 minutes earlier than usual, or I'm going to make sure I, I spend five minutes with my kids before they go to sleep every night, or we're going to have dinner together as a family every night. And that's somehow going to bring in this magical solution of balance into your life. You're going to be disappointed because there are going to be times when you have to work late. 
So you're going to work late. So it obviously pulls away from your family dynamic. And there are times when you take days off. So it pulls away from your work dynamic. There are times when you need more from your partner in life. So they are going to have to give and sacrifice more so that you can stay upright. And then sometimes you are going to have to give and sacrifice more so that they can stay upright. And the problem comes in is when it always stays one way or another, or you think you can just never change and hold the wheel straight and that the boat isn't going to veer off to the left or the right. So as the wind of life comes in and pushes the boat and the wake from the other ships push the boat, you have to be ready to change. And you can't be hating on yourself thinking that, oh, I can never find balance or I had it right and now I've messed up. No, because it's, it's a total give and take. It is a total and constant, ever-changing, ever-variable give and take. So what can you do and what can we do to achieve balance? Well, just like you pursue clarity and you pursue the perspective in your life so you can constantly make changes and shift knowing where you are on the map and where you're heading and how those things change. Well, you can just pursue balance. You can practice balance, but you never really arrive at balance. And if you do arrive, it is very temporary because something is going to change. It's the essence of life. Going into 2021, I personally want to find more balance. I want to put more attention on balance. And it's not that I haven't put attention on balance. I put a lot of attention on balance uh, in my work, in my family life, a lot of attention, a lot of success, a lot of failure. Let's be honest, a lot of failure. And recalibrating in this 2021 year, balance is going to take a new set of corrections because there are a new set of variables. And I think we can all agree that the variables that are going to come in in 2021 20, are ones that we don't have any idea what they are going to be. We just don't. I think we've learned enough in 2020 that we've learned that we don't know anything really and that we can't count on anything really to be the way it was. Anyone running a business trying to make business decisions is obviously faced with the fact that, um, I don't know what's going to happen. So all my decisions have to have big asterisks next to them and thinking, how am I going to maintain balance? So all the decisions are made with contingencies and flexibility built in understanding that like, I'm going to have to be ready to put a little more weight on this side or a little bit more weight on that side or turn the wheel a little left, little right. So I have to stay free and flexible to be that. So that's really my question to you. My encouragement to you today is what are you going to do to pursue more balance in 2021? Where are the areas that you feel out of balance right now? Let's talk about clarity for a second. Get some perspective. Where are the areas that you feel out of balance right now? And where are the areas that you feel in balance? It's really good to understand those things because then you can have a plan and then you can start thinking about, okay, well, if I'm out of balance here, what correction do I need to make to get in more balance, like move toward more balance? And then start there, little steps, little steps, because you're never going to really arrive at balance because the second you arrive at balance for, for a moment, something else changes and you shift to the other way. And then the other question is like, where am I in balance right now? And how can I leverage that and assess the playing field and say, okay, how do I stay in balance? It's probably easier to stay in balance than it is to get into balance. So that's just what's been on my mind. Um, I think a lot of people are also struggling with it. So it's the reason I'm talking about it today. Everyone's trying to pursue this balance in their life, but I don't want you to get caught up on the fact that if you're out of balance, or if you can't seem to stay in balance forever or for a long period of time by doing the one thing over and over, that's okay. Because work-life balance, relationship balance, all of that is a constant adjustment because life constantly changes. People change, attitudes change, outside influences change. But it's the pursuit, just like the pursuit of clarity. It's the pursuit of balance. And I hope you are on both of those journeys, actually, I hope both of those journeys intersect. Pursuit of clarity, the pursuit of balance. So I hope that you get some perspective this week. I hope that you move closer toward balance as we gear up to go into the holiday season or through the end of holiday season and into 2021. May it be a year full of perspective and balance at work and at home and inside. I will see you next week. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me here on the show to hopefully give you a little more balance in your life. I'll talk to you soon. You just gotta love some.